Several videos have been posted on YouTube noting that recently the number of vaccinated people in the United States who are dying from COVID-19 has begun to exceed the number of unvaccinated people dying from COVID-19. Some of the creators of these videos, including notably the retired nurse educator, Dr. John Campbell, have presented this data in a way that suggests that the COVID-19 vaccines are not very effective at preventing death from COVID-19. In reality, nothing could be further from the truth. In this short video, I will show you why that is the case. The videos that purport to show that the COVID-19 vaccines are ineffective at preventing deaths from COVID-19, all are based on a logical fallacy called the base rate fallacy. To put it simply, they don't take into account the numbers of vaccinated people versus the number of unvaccinated people in a given area. For example, according to a June 2022 article in Scientific American, the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention compiled data from 28 geographically representative state and local health departments that keep track of COVID death rates among people aged 12 and older in relation to their vaccination status, including whether or not they got a booster dose and what age group they fell into. For each week in March of 2022, on average, a reported 644 people in this data set died of COVID. Of them, 261 were vaccinated with either just a primary round of shots, two doses of an mRNA vaccine, or a single dose of Johnson & Johnson's vaccine, or with the primary series and at least one shot of a booster. Of the 644 who died, 383 were unvaccinated and 261 were vaccinated. At first glance, and this is where the base rate fallacy enters, you might conclude that the COVID-19 vaccines are not very effective at preventing deaths. However, the raw death data does not take into account the number of vaccinated people versus the number of unvaccinated people. Here in the United States, there now are a lot more vaccinated people than unvaccinated people. In the sample shown in the image, there were 127 million vaccinated individuals compared to only 38 million unvaccinated people. So to obtain a valid comparison and thus to avoid the base rate fallacy, you need to compare death rates for the same number of vaccinated and unvaccinated individuals. The way this is done to avoid the base rate fallacy is to present not the overall number of deaths, but the number of deaths per 100,000 people, whether vaccinated or unvaccinated. And in this chart from the same Scientific American article, we see that among unvaccinated individuals, the COVID-19 death rate was 1.71 people per 100,000, while among those who were vaccinated but not boosted, the death rate was 0.22 per 100,000 people, and among those who are both vaccinated and boosted, the death rate was only 0.1 per 100,000. So the likelihood for an unvaccinated person dying from COVID-19 was eight times that of a vaccinated person dying from COVID-19 and 17.5 times that of a person who is both vaccinated and boosted. The CDC also broke out the data by age group. And as the data in the chart show, as we might expect, older people are more likely to die from COVID-19 than younger people. But in all three age groups shown, unvaccinated people clearly are more likely to die from COVID-19 than our vaccinated people. Specifically, in the 50 to 64 age group, unvaccinated people are eight times more likely to die from COVID-19 than vaccinated people, and unvaccinated people are 20 times more likely to die from COVID-19 than people who are both vaccinated and boosted. 
In the 65 and older group, where COVID-19 hits the hardest, we see similar results. Unvaccinated people are eight times more likely to die from COVID-19 than are vaccinated people. And unvaccinated people are 17 times more likely to die from COVID than are those who are both vaccinated and boosted. The bottom line is that for all age groups, unvaccinated people are far more likely to die from COVID-19 than are vaccinated people. And in addition, it's clear that the boosters provide additional protection. And as the data show, while the vaccines are not perfect, they provide a very high level of protection. Thanks for watching. I hope you have found this information helpful. At the same time, let me emphasize that I am not a health professional and that you should not regard this video as advising you to get vaccinated against COVID-19. Although the COVID-19 vaccines have an excellent safety record, some people have health conditions that make it inadvisable for them to receive one or more of the available COVID-19 vaccines. For that reason, I encourage you to check with your personal physician or health professional before being vaccinated. The base rate fallacy is only one of many logical fallacies that come into play when discussing vaccination data. If you would like to learn more about the various logical fallacies affecting COVID-19 data, I encourage you to visit Dr. Susan Oliver's Back to the Science YouTube channel. As always, questions and comments are welcome. Just leave them in the comments section. Also, please take some time to watch some of my other videos, which mostly are on climate topics. Thanks again for watching.